We are expecting plenty of sunshine. Going to be another hazy, hot, and humid day. Starting off in the lower 70s now, recovering to 88 degrees by 2 p.m. I expect us to see a high right at that 90 degree mark this afternoon. Noticing that we still have a lot of sun, despite the fact that there will be some increased clouds that develop with the heat of the day closer to the afternoon hours. Now let's talk about that protection from the sun because the UV index is at a nine today, and that's a very high category, meaning burn times are within 15 to 25 minutes on unprotected skin. The sun is going to be at its hottest at the highest in the sky between about 10 o'clock this morning through 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Just want you to remember this. That protection is certainly needed. Wear that SPF 30 or above. Reapply it every couple of hours if you're going to be outside. And in order to promote that sun's reflection, wear light, loose colored uh, clothing. And that's going to help to keep you cool as well as keep the sun off of you. This evening, another big night up at Ruoff. Dave Matthews Bank continues on their second day. Show begins at 8 o'clock this evening. We'll notice a few of those clouds with the heat of the afternoon starting to erode later in the night. Temperatures fall from 87 at 7 p.m. back to 80 at 10 o'clock, and then we're in the 70s later this evening. Looks to stay dry today. Future Track 13, though, shows us how our next boundary moves in on Sunday, and that's going to increase our rain chance a bit for the second half of the weekend. You'll still notice a lot of dry time through the morning into the early afternoon, but then when everything heats up, will start to throw some of that atmospheric energy toward the development of these storms closer to the 3 o'clock hour. Then we get into tomorrow night. You'll notice a line of storms trying to develop closer to 6 p.m. This will exit by the time we get into 10 o'clock. As far as that overall coverage area, I don't expect everybody to see this, but so much you to be weather aware as that boundary is uh, potentially set up to bring in a line of storms in the early evening. Tomorrow's heat index going to be a little higher today. Feeling more like 93 this afternoon, but come tomorrow, heat index back near 97 in Indianapolis. Feeling like 98 in Bloomington, 93 in Greencastle. And then we take you into our Monday, and once again, that heat index stays in the pretty dangerous category here from 95 back up to 100. So a couple of oppressive days setting up with rain chances that will increase as we get into the first few days of July. Some scattered afternoon pop-up storms Monday and Tuesday. Then we look ahead at Wednesday and Thursday. And this pattern I do expect to become more active with an increasing rain chance, especially for the coverage area Wednesday and Thursday as a boundary kind of stalls out close to central Indiana. Want you just to be weather aware, especially for any outdoor plans for the holiday. Make sure you're checking up on that forecast and you know where the best chance of rain for your neighborhood is. We'll go 90 today, tomorrow, and on Monday with that heat index climbing as high as 95 for most of central Indiana. Stray storms begin to develop Monday afternoon, becoming more widespread into Tuesday. Scattered storms linger in your forecast all the way through our 4th of July holiday. But also keep in mind there will be several dry hours. The better chance of these storms occurs in the late afternoon and into the evening. So plan ahead for that and also just plan ahead for this pattern to stay hot and humid highs in the upper 80s, lower 90s.